Hey guys, Jake here, making a romantic chicken parmesan dinner for my wife. I'm not a professional, I'm not a chef or anything like that. I just, I'm a practical, everyday guy who is going to use practical, everyday ingredients that you probably have on hand in your house right now. So you can do this with just a little bit of effort and a small budget, it's real easy. You will need four tablespoons of vegetable oil or olive oil, both work just fine, three tablespoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, chicken, and of course, spaghetti. We'll get to that in a minute. I like to trim some of the fatty parts off the meat first, and I always inspect it for bone or odd looking parts, like this thing. I don't even, I don't even know what this is. Start by mixing together the olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, red pepper. Use a whisk. If you don't have a whisk or if you don't know what a whisk is, a fork works just fine. Now I'm getting a little romantic here tonight because it's my intention tonight, as it should be every night, to step up, to pursue my wife the same way I did when we were dating. Trust me guys, a little bit of effort in this department goes a long way. Now pour the marinade into a Ziploc bag or a small bowl, something that when you put the chicken in the marinade, it, it's, it six, sits in as much of the marinade as possible. Normally I'm a big advocate for letting your meat marinate overnight, six to eight hours at least, but the one thing you have to keep in mind with really acidic marinades like this is acid bases like vinegar, wine, citrus juice, lemon juice, they actually toughen up the protein fibers in the meat. If left sitting in the marinade too long, the water squeezes out of the meat, the tissue tightens, and your meat is ruined. So when using highly acidic marinades like this one, add a little olive oil and or eliminate the marinating time to preserve your meat. Two hours is usually more than enough, but for this recipe, because we're also going to be soaking it in tomato sauce, we only want to leave it in here for about 15-20 minutes. That should be plain. Okay, now we're going to saute the chicken. Saute is an unnecessarily sophisticated word, which means to fry. We're gonna just pss, pss, on both sides for about five to seven minutes. Okay, next we're gonna place the chicken in a small baking dish. This one is nine by nine. And we're gonna top each piece of chicken with about one cup of tomato sauce. And I don't care what kind of sauce you use. If you wanna use sauce with vegetables in it or homemade sauce or oregano or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm using this sauce because it's what was in the cupboard. Hopefully my wife didn't have plans for it. Next, you wanna to top it with cheese, Parmesan cheese, Italian cheese, mozzarella cheese, a mixture of cheese. Bake the chicken at 450 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. And now for your spaghetti. Seriously, making spaghetti is so easy, I can't believe that every dude in the world just doesn't instinctively know how to do this. Take a pot, fill it up about halfway with water, and bring it to a boil. Add a teaspoon of salt for some flavoring if you want, and drop in your noodles and boil it for about eight to 10 minutes. It cannot get any simpler than that. Some garlic bread, a side salad, candlelight. We're good to go. 